Hello, this is Hobnob from our story and I'm going to show you how to make your very own Hobnob. I'll take this one off and then you can see the bits and pieces that we need to make him. We need a sock and it doesn't have to be an old sock this time because you don't spoil the sock at all. You can take him to bits and wear it again afterwards. You need a rubber band, you need two red eyes. These ones are circles made out of felt, but you can use cardboard. And two smaller ones, that makes his nose. You're going to need something to make his ears as well. So I've just got some black card. I'm going to cut his ears out. I've folded it so that I get two the same shape and the same size. Just any shape for ears is fine. And then you can cut the fold across. And there's his two ears. We need to get all the bits ready before we start to make him. This is the shape for his tongue. And you might want to make his tongue look a bit more hobnob-like. So I'm going to put some dots on. It just makes him look a bit fiercer. Now we need to take our sock and you want to put your hand inside it so that the bit that's the heel is on the back of your wrist like that. And then just move your thumb so that you've got a mouth. The next thing to do is to fix on his nose. Now, double-sided tape or little sticky pads are best for this. So you need to put a sticky pad on and that's one part of his nose and then another sticky pad and that's the other part of his nose. Now you need to think about where his eyes come. He's got eyes almost on the side of his head. To make your circles look a little bit more like eyes, you need to give them some black middles. I'm just drawing on with a felt tip. There we go. And again, double-sided tape or those little sticky pads are very good for putting on his eyes. So I'm going to put one just on that corner and the other one on the other corner. So now he's got some eyes and he's got a nose but we need to fix his tongue and his ears. So I'm going to take him off again and show you how to do that. This is where your rubber band comes in. If you take his tongue and just fold it over, put it round the band and you can use glue or sellotape or I'm going to be quick and use a staple and I've fixed his tongue on. Now you need to take his ears and fold them over again so you've got a little fold. Do it on both ears. There we are, two folds. And on the opposite side to his tongue, you need to clip his two ears. So it will look like that. Now you need to put him together. So 
Put your hand back into your sock. The end of your fingers are his nose. Remember to keep your thumb nicely tucked through your sock. Now this bit you might need a bit of help with. You have to put the rubber band round hobnob so that his tongue goes into his mouth and his ears stand up.